and welcome to the Ultimate Sports Quiz 2022, India's biggest celebration of sporting knowledge and excellence. Gives me great pride and joy to introduce our first team today. I spent many happy years in this school all those years ago. My alma mater, the Hyderabad Public School from Hyderabad. Our second team in this episode comes from the north. All the way from Chandigarh, the home of the Flying Sikh. So many legendary hockey medalists. Bhavan Vidyale from Chandigarh. And so to our third team. It comes from the city that has won the most Ranji Trophy titles. Nobody else comes close. We are talking about Mumbai, we are talking about the Dhirubhai Ambani International School. Let's meet them, Hyderabad Public School. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ashrit. I'm a space enthusiast. My hobbies are reading books, playing chess, playing tennis, playing piano. Story of space is fantastic. India's done a lot of great work in there. Okay, your colleague. Hello, my name is Rishi. I study in grade nine. Football and science are my favorite subjects. And I like doing programming and uh, uh, reading history fiction books. Right, let's go on to Bhavan Vidyalay Chandigarh. Bataye. Curiosity is a thing which helps me make me different from others. And here I am, Anishtan Rawat, trying to show how we, the students of Bhavan stand in front of everyone. Anushtan, kya naam hai? Yes, come on. Hi, my name is Shivya Aroda and I am a gold medal fencer at National Fencing Championship. Fencing? <laughs> okay. I'll keep clear of the APs. Okay, let's go to Dhirubhai Ambani School. Hi, I'm Shashwat Singh. I study in the 10th grade. I am an avid quizzer. I enjoy quizzing and I'm prepared to do a great job at this quiz and excel and make my school proud. Your colleague. Hey everyone, I'm Vedant Vora. I study in the 10th grade in Dias and I am a state level swimmer. I do love playing and watching basketball and that's what I've been doing these recent days. Some serious athletes here. Let's see though if their knowledge of sport is as good as the way they play sport. So what's this quiz all about? 27 schools. That means 54 contestants, but they come from 22 different cities. And in the end, you are one champion. And that champion school gets a sum of 35 lakhs of rupees. The team that's placed second, 20 lakhs. And the third finalist, 10 lakhs. But here's the interesting bit. They get this money to develop sporting infrastructure in their schools. It's a little contribution towards building a truly sporting nation. Also, the finalists of the Ultimate Sports Quiz 2022, and they're all big dreamers in this contest, they're in for a hearty reward. It's a reward that will make their dream of watching their favorite sport live come true. With an all-expenses-paid trip sponsored by Dream Set Go. It's a world where your dreams of watching any leading sporting game live is tailor-made into an absolutely unforgettable experience. And there's also the not-so-small matter of this fabulous trophy, which the winning team will take back to their school. It's not bad, is it? It's time to get into our first round. It's time to play Sitius. Right, Sitius is all about grids. But there's a method to it. You'll get a seven by seven grid. It's a square that's got a theme within it. Five names to guess on that grid for five points each. The names are arranged. Could be left to right, top to bottom. You could have first names, last names, sports persons, maybe just sports related terms. All that linked together by a theme. If you get all five correct, then you get an additional five points as bonus. And then you can earn another 10 point bonus if you answer the connection question right. Remember that bonus question though, will pass to the other sides if the assigned team fails to answer it. There's no negative points in this round. This is the only one with no negative points. So feel free. Let's get into our first grid. And we're going to start with Hyderabad Public School, Begumpet. Leading run-getters in the Indian Premier League. Your time starts now. What now? One. Gaikwad. Two. Rahul. Kohli. Kohli. Four. Gil. Gil. 
So you've got your five right. You've got your five bonus points as well. But now you can get 10 more points if you get this bonus question right. Which of these batters has won the orange cap thrice? Uh, we'll what? go with David Warner. You'll go with David Warner and you will be right. Well done, HPS Hyderabad. They score maximum points. Now let's see if Bhavan Vidyale Chandigarh. Let's see if you can get it right. Let's go into your grid. Countries to have played a FIFA Men's World Cup final. Time starts now. England, Brazil, Italy, Croatia, France. You know, you went so fast that you were giving your answers even before the grid could keep pace. That was just awesome. Very well done. You get your additional five points as well. Now, let's see if you can get the bonus question right. Here's your question. Which of these countries has never won the FIFA Men's World Cup? Croatia. Croatia. He's absolutely spot on. You didn't send the questions yourself. No, no. No, no, no. 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 Well done. Well done, Bhavan Vidyale Chandigarh. They score maximum points in this round. Okay, let's move on to Dhirubhai Ambani, Mumbai. Let's see what you've got. Indian Olympic medalists, right? Your time starts now. Mandeep. Pindra. Sindhu. Sindhu. Dat. Chopra. Chopra. Of course it had to be Chopra. You had seven seconds left. Good to see. Vedant gave you a little pat on the back. So not only have you got your 25, you've got the additional five as well, which means this round's fantastic, but you can catch up with all of them. Here's your bonus question. Which of these Indians has won an Olympic medal in a team sport? Mandeep Singh. Is correct, Mandeep Singh. And the sport is? Hockey. Okay. Well done. What a fabulous round this has been. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Because everybody maxed it. That means we need to get a little tougher. We need to go into a slightly tougher round. After the break, we'll get into all tiers. Bhavan Vidyale, what do you want to choose? T20 I have Ten points. Ten points. You're seeing a little more adventure now. And I hope you do. Here is your question. Welcome back. This is the ultimate sports quiz. Some fantastic students on display already, but now they're going to get into all tiers. Six subjects on display in a grid that they can choose from. We will start with a team that trails at the end of round one. No teams trailing, so we'll go in the same order. So team one will pick a subject first. Then within that subject, they can choose five points they get it right, five, otherwise uh, there's no negatives. They can go ten, but if they don't get it right, if they give an incorrect answer, they get five negative points. They can go twenty, if they get an incorrect answer, then they lose ten points. However, should they choose not to answer? They've gone twenty, but they think, oops, I shouldn't have, I don't know the answer. They can choose not to answer. They will not get a negative. Obviously, they won't get any points. The questions will then pass with the other two teams on the buzzer. But once you hit the buzzer, it means you want it. And then you get into the plus 10, minus 5, or plus 20, minus 10 scenario, unless it's a five-point question. So, there you are. We'll start with Hyderabad Public School. Let's look at the subject grid. Which one do you want to go with? Uh, Premier League stadiums. Five points. Five points. Five points within the Premier League stadiums. Here is your question. Which former Premier League champions played at Highbury between 1913 and 2006 before moving to their current home, the Emirates Stadium? Uh, Manchester City. Incorrect. Hiru uh, Ambani? Yeah, Arsenal. Of course it is Arsenal, yes. 
started at Highbury, then of course built that fantastic new stadium. But luckily for you, you went five, so you don't get any negatives. Dhirubhai Ambani, you get a plus five. Let's go into our second question. Bhavan Vidyale. Let's take a look at that grid again. What do you want to choose? T20 I have feats. 10 points. 10. 10 points, okay. You're seeing a little more adventure now from Bhavan Vidyale Chandigarh. Here is your question for 10 points. Which current Indian pacer became the first Indian to take a T20 international hat-trick against Bangladesh in 2019? Are you giving me an pass, answer? Pass. Pass. Question Please passes. Think. Think. Deepak Chahar. The answer indeed is Deepak Chahar. So they get their 10. However, Bhavan Vidyale, you don't lose any points, but they get the carryover. We can now go to Dhirubhai Ambani International School, Mumbai, and you can take a look at that grid and pick your question. US Open 5 marks. Uh, US Open, five mark. US Open for five? Yes. Here's your question. Take a look at the photograph that will come up on the screen. Identify this Russian who beat Novak Djokovic in the 2021 final to keep him at 20 Grand Slam titles. The answer is Daniel Medvedev. The answer is Daniel Medvedev, yes! Okay, let's go back to HPS Hyderabad. Coming up on your grid. So, US Open for 10 points. US Open for 10 points, okay. It's a photograph. Take a look at that photograph. The last person from the USA to win the US Open men's singles title in 2003. HPS Hyderabad. So, we think... Uh... It's a Pete Sampras. Question passes incorrect. You got money? Our answer is Andy Roddick. The answer is Andy Roddick. Well done. You get carryover points. Sadly, HPS Hyderabad, you lose five points because you gave the answer. Ten points to Dhirubhai Ambani. Let's go to Bhavan Vidyale Chandigarh. Right, here's your grid. So again, T20I feats at five points. Right, T20I feeds for five points. Let's see if you get this right. I hope you do. Here is your question. In 2021, Kyron Pollard became the second batter to hit six sixes in T20 International. There's a smile on their face. Who was the first? Yuvraj Singh. Yuvraj. Stuart Broad. <laughs> well done, Bhavan Vidyale. We've seen a little change on the leaderboard, but let's see what happens after this question. The last in Altius, and it goes to Dhirubhai Ambani, Mumbai. We go for racing circuits, five mark. You'll go with racing circuits for five. Here is your question. Sebastian Vettel has won all three Formula One races that were held at the Buddh International Circuit, which is the Grand Prix of which country? India. India. Little happier? Little happier? India. India! Yes, indeed. It had to be India. Well done. So there you are, we've come to the end of this round of Altius. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Dhirubhai Ambani International School, Mumbai leading with 75. Bhavan Vidyale Chandigarh on 45. And HPS Begumpet Hyderabad on 35. But as I said, there's lots, lots more points to come in our next round. But before we go there, for all of you watching, and if you're amazed at how they got it right, here's a question for you to get right. This is our audience question. In the film, 83, the Punjabi singer Hardy Sandhu played the role of which medium pacer? And here's a hint for you, who took the vigour of Viv Richards in the 1983 World Cup final. See if you can answer that, because when we come back after this break, we're going to be playing Fortius. We've got one team, Dhirubhai Ambani, that's in the lead at the moment. But Bhavan Vidyale, Hyderabad, not that far behind. Very curious to know how the three of you are going to play. Here is the question.
Welcome back to the Ultimate Sports Quiz 2022. We've got three really good teams who are going to head into four tiers. But before that, I've got to give you the answer, don't I? To that audience question, I don't know if you got it right. The answer, of course, it's such a big part of cricketing folklore. The answer was Madan Lal. Okay, the deciding round. This decides who gets into the semi-final. Who gets a shot to inch closer to that magnificent trophy and the dream prize. Why the rules for Fortius are simple. One team member steps aside, sits on the bench in the dugout, watches his or her teammate play. The team captain will, of course, decide who between the two. But here's how the point system works. Ten points for a correct answer, five for a wrong answer. Everyone has access to the questions. You go on the buzzer. After five questions, though, the captain can opt for a substitution. We can swap players around. All these people watch a lot of sport. They know what that's about. So, let's ask the teams who is going to play this round. First of all, HPS, Begum Pate, Ashrit, Rishi. Which one of you is playing? Rishi is playing. Rishi is playing. Okay. Bhavan Vidyale, Anushtan, Shivya. Anushtan with Anushtan and Shashwat Vedant. Which of you? Shashwat is playing. Okay. So, Ashrit, Shivya, Vedant. If you can have a lot of fun, you can chat. After five questions, remember, you could make a substitution depending on how things go. Okay, so there's lots of points to be won. We've got one team, Dhirubhai Ambani, that's in the lead at the moment. But Bhavan Vidyale, Hyderabad, not that far behind. If you see the number of points at stake here, let's play Fortius. You guys are on that buzzer as if you're going to beat the daylights out of it. Just be calm. Let's go into Fortius. Here's our first question coming up. In 2019, at the age of 15, which female opening batter became the youngest to play cricket for India? Hirubai Ambani? Shafali Varma. Is right. Okay, we've got one answer. Let's go into our second question. At which iconic ground was the UEFA Euro final in 2021 played, where Italy beat HPS Hyderabad. Oh, uh, Wembley. Is correct, HPS Hyderabad. Brings a smile back as well. Ten points. I told you there's a lot of points at stake here. Bang on the buzzer. The three of you once again. Here's question number three. In December 2013, while skiing with his then 14-year-old son, Mick, Michael Schumacher is the answer. And the question was? question was which uh, you don't racing need to know champion. The question was the answer is yeah. correct. For the benefit of all of us simple, normal people, here is the question. In December 2013, while skiing with his then 14 year old son Mick in the French Alps, which world champion driver sustained a serious head injury in an accident? Michael Schumacher, one of the greats across sport, and one of the saddest moments in our sport as well. Well done, Dhirubhai Ambani. They went quickly. They backed themselves. They're in pole position at the moment. Let's go into question number four. Right. At Tokyo in 2021, which Khel Ratna awardee from 2020 became India's first female table tennis player? HPS Hyderabad. Manika Batra. Manika Batra is right. The first table tennis player to reach the third round at an Olympics, Manika Batra. Yes, indeed. And what a player she is. Well done, HPS Hyderabad. Question number five. Which Italian won the men's 100-meter gold at the Tokyo Olympics in 2021? Pavan Vidyale. Marcos. You want to spell that out for me? M-A-R-C-U-S. Question passes. Nobody's going for it. Okay, let's take it from the audience anyway. It doesn't matter. Come on. The answer was Jacobs. Yes, Marcel Jacobs was the answer. Sadly, Bhavan Vidyale lose some points, but the others played safe. So, we've come to the end of question number five. All three of you, do you want to make any changes? You're happy with where you are? And the three of you are calm where you are? Yes. Okay, let's get into question six. Which legendary tennis champion from the USA is nicknamed Pistol Pete. HPS Hyderabad went first. Uh, Pete Sampras. Is absolutely correct. Ten points, HPS Hyderabad. They're starting to close the lead a little bit. 
65 versus 95. There's four questions left. Let's go with question number seven. Who broke Brendan McCullum's record of the highest individual score? Ah, you know where money went first? Chris Gale. Chris Gale? In the uh, highest score in the IPL, right? Chris Gale. Yes. Yes. The answer is Chris Gale. Who broke Brendan McCullum's record of the highest individual score in an IPL match when he made 175 not out for Royal Challengers Bangalore in 2013? Some of those sixes that he hit that day are still searching for the ball in Cubbon Park in Bangalore. That's how far he hit them. So where are we? 65, 105, three left. And very curious to know how the three of you are going to play it. I'm especially curious to know how Dhirubhai Amani International School and Shashwat, how you are going to play it as we go into question number eight. Emma Raducanu became the first woman in 44 years to win a singles Grand Slam title in 2021 for which country? Right, Anushtan, you went first this time. US Open, she won in the US Open. Question passes. Okay, Dhiru Ambani, you've got the opportunity here and the answer is? England. The answer is England. The question we were looking for, Bhavan Vidyale, was Emma Raducanu became the first woman in 44 years to win a singles Grand Slam title in 2021. For which country? Sometimes just got to hear all the way through to the end. 65, 115, two questions left. Here is question number nine. In 2002, who defeated Jang Song Ai? of North Korea in the final to win the World Championship gold medal in boxing for the first time. Everyone's going safe suddenly. Everyone's going safe suddenly. Okay. You, all three of you, are going to kick yourself when you get the answer because the answer is the one and only. I'm tongue-tied in her presence. Virendar Singh. MC Mary Com. Oh. The answer is Mary Com. She's just a slight little woman. I've met her three or four times and I look at her and I'm in awe like that. I don't know what to say to her. MC Mary Com is the answer I was looking for. One last time, one question left in Fortius. Here is question number 10. The football ground of the Italian club Napoli was renamed Diego Maradona Stadium. That was renamed after Diego Maradona. Dhirubhai Ambani, you're absolutely right. The football ground of the Italian club Napoli was renamed after which iconic Argentine footballer who passed away in 2020. He was a revolution, created a revolution in the little town of Naples. Took the whole team along with him. Much like you, Shashwat, have taken your team along with you. So the three of you, come along. You had a great time. We enjoyed having you on the program. So, Ashrit, Shivya, Vedant, well done. Let's take a look at the final leaderboard. HPS Begum paid Hyderabad, well done. 65 points. You're younger than some of the others, so I thought you did remarkably well to score the number of points you did. They finished with 65. Bhavan Vidyale Chandigarh, well done. 35. Listen, to come here and be on a quiz like this is fantastic. So, I'm going to look at you specifically, Anushtan. Give me a smile. Kohli fails. Virat Kohli gets out of the It's no big deal. You did well to get 35. I wouldn't have got 35, maybe. Well done. And Shashwat and Vedant, congratulations. You are our winners today. And that means the winner takes it all in this round. A place in the semi-final. Even more so. Even more so. The inch closer for a chance to be at a sporting destination of their choice. That is just incredible. Right, so there you are. Well done with these, uh, with these three teams. Goodbye for now. We'll meet again with three new teams from three new cities.